Good afternoon. My name is Carolyn Motley, and you are now watching the Cannon County Chamber Connection that is provided to us every month by DTC, Channel 3, Cablevision. Um, I have a new co-host today. I have uh, Brittany Goodwin, and Brittany is with the Art Center. Yes. And Brittany, we are so glad you're here. Well, thank you for having me. And she's so cute, too. <laughs> that helps, <too. laughs> We have several people with us today, and um, the weather's beautiful. Lots of things going on in our community as well as surrounding communities. I know there are, um, but we have a new chamber member with us today. Uh, well, it's a group of chamber members, actually, and it's the Moortown Volunteer Fire Auxiliary Incorporated, and of course, we have with us Michael Hollingsworth and Samantha, right? Yes, ma'am. And we're proud to have you on board. And of course, all of our fire departments, uh, our volunteer fire departments, they work hard. Michael? Yes, ma'am. Do you work another job besides fighting fires when there is one? Yes, ma'am. I'm a 911 dispatcher. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> you know, you got it all. You can dispatch your own fire and then get up and leave, huh? Yes, ma'am. That's how that works. I know it is. One of the things that all of our volunteer fire departments have to do throughout the county is fundraising. And unfortunately, um, people are very giving to this because one reason is <laughs> if, you hire, if your house catches on fire, they're going to come out there and try to save you if you're in there. Uh, so people think, you know, for insurance rates and everything, we need to help support these firefighters. And like I say, it is volunteer and they do usually work other jobs. So if you have 50, that's really good yeah. <laughs> because there's always somebody that can go get the fire engine. <laughs> yeah. And your next fundraiser, tell us about it. We are having a tractor pull on May the 24th at Moortown Volunteer Fire Department. Um, it starts at six o'clock and we are very excited. Um, we've got a new uh, pool-in company that we're gonna be using. So we hope everybody would come out and join us in our fundraiser. What time is it? Six. At mm -hmm. six, and yes. where are you located? Where It's actually at the, at the fire hall, mm -hmm. right? It is, it's 473 Hollow Springs Road in Woodbury. And if you want other instructions, what you need to do is uh, take, it would be 53 right out toward Manchester from Woodbury and that and you'll see and you'll hear it <laughs> before yes. you get there. We try to have, the day of the pool we try to put up signs with arrows pointing from if you're coming in from Manchester off of I-24 or through Murfreesboro off of I-24 just all of our major cities we try to put out signs with arrows depicting the easiest route to get to where we're at the easiest and quickest route. And, so. and you, you've you had uh, uh, tractor pulls, they're very popular. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. They're kind of like, what is it where they go drive through the mud? Mud, mud bogs. Okay. Now, I've never, I've never been to one. What, <laughs> what can I expect to see at a tractor pull? Um, tractor. Well, <laughs> we have a, I guess the best way to put it would be super modified farm tractors. Okay. They run on a, a very high combustible fuels. They go extremely fast. They're not <laughs> like you're out here pulling a plow through a field. Okay. Um, I think uh, they, the distance is what people are measured by as far as how far they pull a sled, which has a set amount of weight on it for each division or okay. class of tractors. Um, we also have uh, trucks, diesel trucks. People can bring, uh, we got a class called Run What You Grown, so you can come in with uh, <laughs> with your street truck that you drove out there, if you want to hook it to the sled and try to pull the sled, you can do that. But okay. if you break your truck, you got to find a way to get home. In other words, if you blow your <laughs> transmission or the engine, mm. yeah, you're, you're done. <laughs> okay. Might as well buy a tractor because that's yeah. how you're getting home. So it's, it's, a, it's a great show. It, uh, we have had them, which we hope this one doesn't last this long, but we have had them go to about 2 o'clock in the morning. I bet the neighbors hope it doesn't last <laughs> 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 the, neighbor, the neighbors are, are, are very considerate with us. I mean, they know that we're out there trying to... They leave to, town, don't they? <laughs> yes, ma'am. They, uh, they know we're out there trying to raise money, and so they're very they're willing to work with us about it. And well, that is good, because yeah. you are in a populated area. I yes, mean, it's right off the... 
It's right off 53 there, and like I say, if you don't know exactly, you're going to hear them. Yes, ma'am. And you're going to see them, too. We're also mm -hmm. going to have a fireworks show that night. Okay. Um, oh, they're going to love knows. that. Yes. I bet you got a lot of noise. You might as well let <laughs> we off a do. few fireworks. <laughs> we sell fireworks on the 4th of July, the week fall pulling up to that. Uh -huh. So we get a um, pretty good discount on what we buy. So we are going to have a fireworks show for that. We're okay. really excited about it. Cool. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, people like fireworks shows. <laughs> they do. And they like tractor pulls and they like mud bogs. And... We do one with uh, the tractor pull. We're going to try to do a small one with the tractor pull. And then on July 4th, we have a, after everybody, I guess it gets real dark, maybe around 8, 30, 9 o'clock, we have a free community uh, fireworks show where we provide the funds for the fireworks and everybody, it's free. Everybody can come out, bring the kids, and it's a safe way to shoot fireworks mm -hmm. and that way you don't have to worry about setting your neighbor's field <laughs> on fire or blowing your arm off. I mean, we, we do it for you and it's it's a wonderful show. We have uh, some uh, community members that come out and they do a, I guess the best way to put it would be a fire dance performance. They take a, like a whip and they'll dip it in kerosene and then light it on fire yeah, and they'll awesome. twirl it around. <laughs> they take a we had a fire breather last year. Yeah, there's oh, a guy who breathes that. fire. We have a... Had he, did he go to the distillery first? And come down there? <laughs> probably, that's probably how he got the fire breath. Yes, ma'am. That's where he got his fuel on. Yes, ma'am. Wow. But yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful show, and it's, like I said, it's free. The tractor pool's not free, but the fireworks show is free. And so how much hey, was the tractor pool? It. The admission's $10 okay. for it. And any questions, they can visit our website also. Um, it's Moortown VFD, or Moortown Volunteer Fire Department. Dot com, and they can visit that, and all our updated fundraisers and stuff are on it. You do have other fundraisers, mm -hmm. don't you? Yes, we you have, have fundraisers throughout the year. Yes, uh, I know ham breakfasts are big things. Uh, we have four of those a year, I believe. So everybody enjoys our chocolate gravy, you know. <laughs> you know, I'd never heard of chocolate <laughs> gravy till I moved here. Oh, I it's never good. Had. Our uh, chief makes it, and everybody enjoys it really, really well. Wow. Uh, when they first mentioned that, I thought chocolate gravy. That's like <laughs> pouring something over a moon pie. Or <laughs> they say it's good over biscuits, but I just I can't break. I from, can't eat. I can't break from white gravy over biscuits. Oh, it's good. I thought you can't convince me of this. No, I mean it's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, it sounds like y'all have, it sounds like y'all need 50 people. And when you put on something like this, it's not just a couple of people involved in this. I'll tell you to put on Somewhere. something like that. And I didn't even know about the fireworks show. The tractor pull, I'd heard of it, whips with, and they're <laughs> lit. <laughs> and they just pop those whips around there. Just wow. Right. Is there like a distance the audience needs to stand <laughs> from the whips? Well, there's, a lot of people will set up in the fields and then we sort of localize the performers on the track okay. where the tractor pull is going on and everybody can watch. And then whenever they get through, we have our fireworks show. But they, uh, we're, we're pretty sure that they're coming back this year. Oh, um, okay. They, uh, they're real, they're a real nice group of people to work with. I mean, they're, they're excellent. But uh, they had one guy, he had a, like a pot. I mean, just like a little pot that was attached on a rope to another pot, and he would fill those up with, I guess, kerosene, and light them on fire, and it would drip fire, and he would twirl them around everywhere. I mean, it was, <laughs> yeah. How do you train to do that? I mean, how do you, yeah, how do you train to do that? Have, and what are you called when you do that? <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. Fire potter or pyromaniac? Yeah. That's but, a good one. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know how you would, uh, I think that's interesting. I just wondered how they came up with ideas of, I of how to do that. I have no idea. They, uh, but it's a very interesting show. Yeah, I bet. I mean, it's, well, you get your, hey, $10. Come on, guys. A whole night of tractor pulling, loud noise, fireworks. <laughs> Food, fire people, <laughs> <laughs> things on fire. I mean, what more fun can you have? That Come on! Right. And this is a family event, right? Yes, ma'am. It's a family event. There, uh, there's no alcohol allowed on premises. We have security on premises. Um, we do have uh, some off-duty sheriff's deputies that we pay out of our pocket 
to come there. That way, tax dollars is not funding it. Um, and they provide security as well. Um, we have a uh, trained medical staff, as well as being a firefighter. I'm also a state licensed EMT. <laughs> uh, so there's a uh, come on, if this guy he can do <laughs> surgery, whatever you need, he's um, ready. Uh, we've got EMTs on staff. We've got first responders on staff. It's going to be, I mean, you're. It's as well, safe as we can possibly make. Fi it. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> fighters here, you know, so yeah, you could have a fireworks show. You could <laughs> just put out away. anything they'd burn up. Huh? Hey, I think this is great and I think and this is it when it, when is this again? May the sixth or May the twenty fourth at six o'clock. And that's on a Saturday, mm -hmm. right? Yes ma'am. You need to come early? I recommend it if you would like a good parking place. <laughs> Let me that's another thing I said. Do you bring your own chairs or do you have bleachers or? we have bleachers. It is limited. The bleacher seating is limited. Um, chairs would probably be more comfortable if you bring your lawn chair um, or those bagged chairs are probably right. more comfortable than anything. Um, and maybe a light jacket because it does get kind of cool. But I mean we have full concessions. It's it's fun. I mean, it's well, awesome. it sounds like it's fun, <laughs> and it sounds like it's different. Who knows? You may even start a mud bog out there somewhere, huh? So when you got done with that, they could all <laughs> drive through the mud. We, uh, up until we uh, got this pulling company to come with us, we were talking about having a mud bog. Yeah, I know you will. Yeah. People yeah. love those. They do. Mud. They like to go drive their vehicle through this big hole of mud. <laughs> I yeah, guess my own. Okay, it's different strokes for different folks. <laughs> so like. Well, I, I thought the people pulled the tractors, so it shows how much I knew about tractor pulls. We used to. I've learned a lot. We used to have a lawnmower pull. You, you want to go, don't you? I do. Yeah, I, do. I need you to. You do want to go. But we, we used to have a lawnmower pull where uh, you would take your, your lawnmower that you mow your yard with and hook it to a mini sled, but it would take the lawnmower like 10 minutes to get down the track. <laughs> So it got to the point of where it would could, probably take hours longer than that. Well, more high tech with the tractors. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. There were some really nice lawnmowers. <laughs> yeah, there were there was nice lawnmowers. I, mean, I would some never of them, mow my yard with it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we we decided to go back with the tractor pulling because versus ten minutes, you could do ten seconds. Right. And it's over with. Where do you get this? You you say that this is a group that yes, goes around and does this, or you just have different people from different areas that. Well there's, you different, there's, well, there's different associations. Okay. Um, like, uh, I think this is what, the Ohio River Valley? This is Battle of the Bluegrass. Okay, so this is the Bluegrass, mm -hmm. Battle of the Bluegrass Pulling Company. Um, there's the Middle Tennessee Pullers Association. We've had some of their pulls in the past. There's the Ohio River Valley Pulling Association. Um, these people right here, out of everybody that we've looked at, we believe that they're going to provide the best show because they have. Uh, they send you a video. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> they have a uh, very fast and and modified tractors, so we believe. Big this, engines. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Lots of noise. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> If you bring small kids, you may want to bring earplugs. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I probably, I don't know though. I really, the fireworks really, I'd like to come watch that. I really would. Well, the, the fire performers are going to be there during the 4th of July. So. Oh, okay. They're not going to be for the tractor pool? No, ma'am. Okay. Oh, okay. well, shoot. We are going to shoot fireworks for the tractor pool, right. but we just won't have the fire performers. Okay. There. They will be there uh, July 4th. Okay. Whenever we have our fireworks show, okay. so. Do y'all allow dogs or any sort of animals? <laughs> yeah. yeah, as long as they don't bite people, we're good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, why are they be scared? <laughs> well, yeah. for the tractor pull portion of it, I know when I see an outdoor event, I like to be able to take my dog. Oh, yes. So that's really good. To Pets know. are welcome. I mean, awesome. Okay. Any. As long as you clean up so. after them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a whole new story there. Just <laughs> <laughs> one. Um, what can I say? I mean, $10, that's a whole lot of fun. And then the 4th of July, is that in conjunction with something else? Or, or are these fire people just the, is that the show, you know? Or do you have something else that goes on that night too? Well, we uh, we sell fireworks coming up as one of our other fundraisers. We'll do it the week of 4th of July, mm -hmm. prior to 4th of July. 
and then 4th of July night, we take and of course we'll sell fireworks up until dark, but then after dark, we have a, a live DJ who comes on site, plays music, announces everything. We have the fire performers, and then we try to provide about a, what was it last year, like maybe a 20 minute, 10 to 15, 20 minute fireworks show free for the community. It, you know, I, I want to tell you what, it costs a whole lot for 10 minutes of mm -hmm. fireworks. Yeah. I mean, if you have good ones. I, I, the reason I know this is at one time, they had talked to me about, we didn't have a fireworks show in Woodbury for years. We do now, we have you and we also have, uh, Dale Peterson puts on one at Dillon Park. But when I checked on it, on the, the cost of doing this, uh, was with a company and uh, I told them, they said, we can do a real good show. I told them how much money I had, which I thought was substantial. Well, I found out it wasn't substantial. <laughs> And he says, we could, uh, we could work with that. And he says, we could probably put you on a show for you. And he says, it would be about five minutes long. And I thought, oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> the community would love that. I thought, yes, I can just see the people that donated this money. And you're going to drive all the way down here and battle the parking and everything for five minutes. And I just. I gave them their money back. I told them I can't do this oh. because I couldn't, um, that was all I had. And I didn't know if anybody was going to pitch in money to be burned out there or not, you know. So uh, I let it go and then Dale picked up on it and um, he's done a fine job with it. And I knew last year that y'all did. And uh, I think that's great because, you know, they have a crowd down here, and we have people that come from Murfreesboro to watch this one wow. down here. Yes, Mainly because of the p parking. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can park on the square and see it yeah. as well. You know, we used to always go to McMinnville. Yes, ma'am. But um, now we have two. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> see how and we don't do progress. little piddly stuff. I mean, ours is big and loud and yes. lots of fire. We like color. Blowing up. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do too. <laughs> Nothing little. I like color. <laughs> Well, guys, I just don't know what to tell you between the ham breakfast and the fire people, and I, that's what I want to come watch. I don't know what to call them, uh, Michael. We're what do call you them call fire them? Fire performers. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. Correct. I'll remember that. Fire performers. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to come watch them because that's uh, that's good. But hey, you can go the 24th, tractor pull, fireworks after the tractor pull, ten bucks. A lot of fun. Come on. I also want to real quick maybe put in a plug. I know that this is a chamber of commerce mm -hmm. television. So what I want to say is this company that we're going with, we're advertising with three radio stations in Nashville, Knoxville and Chattanooga. So we're hoping as well as the people that are attached with this association. So you're going to have pullers from Kentucky, Alabama, Middle Tennessee, East Tennessee, they're all going to be coming into Woodbury. So we're hoping that they, they buy food and gas yes, and stuff. Yes, we're hoping they spend food. the weekend is <laughs> our plan. We're that's trying to get right. them to spend the weekend mm -hmm. here in Cannon County. So because it's going to be a long weekend. Right. And we're hoping that uh, they we get the word out. And if we have a good turnout and everything, we're going to make this an annual event. If we have a good turnout and we see that we make money on this, we're going to go ahead and set the dates for next year and the year after and the year. I mean, we can go out, I think it's five years ahead of right now and make this an annual event, mm -hmm. but we need the people to come. And we're getting people from outside of Cannon County, but we also need Cannon County to come. So we're asking for all the uh, chamber members to uh, come out and support us. And we're also asking that if uh, they sort of, if somebody comes in and wants to advertise, we ask that they allow us to put up maybe a fly out, flyer, excuse me, of a flyer or just some business type cards announcing it. And uh, if they feel like, you know, they would like to sponsor us, we have sponsorship classes. So if, uh, and I know Kenny County, the, the businesses in Kenny County, they get hit up, I guess once a week. Well, I'd say I'd say more than that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> really. And so really. we, 
we try to go outside of Cannon County to get sponsorships, but we also, we serve Cannon County, so we like to ask that Cannon County also help support us. I wanted to have a good showing there. Yes, well, I'm going to tell you, I don't care where you've advertised, thousands of people watch this show. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I understand, so I understand that. Your... <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just getting that, this is not, I understand this is, you know, the Cab County. You're being serious, County. and I'm yes. just kidding. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe thousands do, but I will say this, I think most of the time, people in Cannon County do su want to support yes, their local events. Yes, they do. Sometimes they get overwhelmed because we have, this is uh, surprising, but we have so many yes, uh, local events. In fact, I think on your day, we also have uh, Cruising on the Square, which will be the cars. We have more town, and then we also have the trail ride. Yes, now, those people, they do theirs earlier, and if they know something's going on that evening, you know, that wouldn't be unusual for them to come over and yes, watch all of that. And, we're and that's what we hope for. Yes. We hope for that with any event. Yes, ma'am. We we're do. Tr we're trying to get people to come in on Friday night and then either dry camp at the fire hall or come down here to the Cannon Inn or, right. or to, to a hotel and stay and then get up Saturday morning, come in, make sure everything's good. And then we can say, hey, why don't you run to town, check out this car show. Right. And then, you know, get back Supporting out here. Supporting right? each other yes. is yes, what gets it done. Yes, ma'am. That's uh, Yeah, it really is. We, uh, that's like with whenever we fight a fire, we have two other departments that go with us on every fire call that mm -hmm. we run. And it's that way in the county. Um, if Westside Fire Department goes on a call, Bradable and Woodbury is going with them. Uh, no matter what because we support one another right and that's the way we look at that support we need to also give that to the community instead of just the fire departments but the community as a whole the other thing is we don't have fire hydrants out in the county so you need <laughs> no, more than one i mean you do that's just that's an honest opinion right yes, there you know they can talk about sucking it out of a pond or whatever they want but uh, it takes more than one, and we do have a lot of fire departments, but we're kind of a spread out area, too. Yes, ma'am. So, and that's good. I think we ought to work together on everything, as well as for the events we have, and that kind of leads into something I was going to talk about a little later. We worry so much about going on vacation and everything, and probably if we focused on just our area and the surrounding areas, because we have great parks, we have great uh, water in Smithville, they're covered with it. You know, you can go out there. We have uh, Cumberland Caverns in McMinnville. We have, there's tons of things. And there's something every weekend in Woodbury, yes, every single weekend. Yes, ma'am. And I think that this is a great thing. And on that day, we have three things. So we can keep you busy all day. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> and that's OK. That's all right. Well, we've enjoyed having you here, Thank and you uh, I, and I want to have you back. And like I say, I'm more than happy to have y'all as a member of the chamber. You are a 501c3, and that's okay. We have several other 501c3s. Your membership dues are a little cheaper that way. So you know, if you want to come in here and jump on board, we'd be glad to have you because the more events we can have, the better I feel about it. So. That's <laughs> fine. Thank you we thank us. you very much thank for you. being here. Thank, thank you. you. What I was talking to Michael and uh, Samantha about is that's what makes your county is when you have organizations of this type that put on shows like that that bring people into your county because when they come into your county, they're going to spend money somewhere. Yep. If not there, they're going to spend it at a grocery store, a gas station, a uh, you know, they may go downtown and walk around the square. We have a lot of antique shops. We have a lot of unique uh, restaurants. Um, and we're glad to have them. Anytime that they want to come in here, we're glad to have them. Hi. Hi. James. And James is also starting up a new event for, um, for us, and it is going to be jamming on the square. Ooh. And this is new for our area, and we're going to give it a try and see. And this may lead into something big, right? It's going to be James? the first time. 
and I've been wanting to do this for a while. I want to thank you for, <clears throat> for inviting me and having me and everything. And I'm working on this, and it's all new to me. And we have uh, talked to everybody and try to get all the boys together that I play music with and jam with and old friends and looking forward to making new friends. And a few enemies, and too. They're welcome no, to come to our day. That's going to be country bluegrass <laughs> and no competition. Just going to bunch up and play. And this is going to be around the courthouse? Right around the courthouse. Just come bring a cheer and the estimate and join in. And there's not going to be any vendors? No vendors. There's not going to be uh, no booths set drives, up? No booths set up or nothing. It's just going to pull in there and get out and let's just see how it's going to go. And now you can have a tent, right? Yeah. People's going to bring tents to put up to, mm -hmm. to get in the shade. And uh, everything I've had there for. There's and no admission. No admission. Just come and uh, everybody around the square, all the arts and crafts and restaurants from from the end of town to back the other end and all around the square has donated, make money for the advertisement and everybody has worked real good with me. And I just can't believe how, I think it's gonna turn out good, but I just can't believe how good it's going. Well, good. For the first time. Good, and, and that is. And of course, anything you have outside is weather related. Yeah. So this may be. Um, this is something that we <coughs> might can just keep adding to. Right. I and, think you. Know, you I think you're a, right. The first annual, you know. Right. That means we might have another. It goes good. And now, if you don't play an instrument, you come bring a chair and watch and come and sing. <laughs> you may over. learn to play one by yeah, one. It's going to be fun. <laughs> okay. For the whole family. Very nice. Yeah. And I've got. A, I started last Saturday, calling all my guys that I've played music with on the phone. And they went calling me plumb on to last night, and all of them promised me that they would be here. I got three or four people that plays, and a lot of these people goes plays and gets paid for playing. And they gonna come, said, well, we can't bring the whole bunch, but I said, well, just come and join in and play with us. And and that really tickled me because we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of gospel. Yeah. Yeah. All right. A lot and of different and little of course, groups. everybody everybody knows what jamming is. You just walk up, say us three sitting here playing. We're going to be sitting here playing, and somebody else woke up and play with us, or we want to go over and see one of our old friends over there and start playing with them. And, and it's, it's going to be a fun day for everybody. And I've got it starting at 10, and I don't know, I've just whenever. You know, whenever everybody goes home. Huh? When everybody goes home. When the everybody fingers start watches, bleeding yeah, from playing all day. There you go. It's tired right. from dancing and yodeling. Are you oh, going to jam practice. with us now? Did you bring anything to play? No, I didn't bring nothing to jam with, <laughs> but I'm going to. Uh, we want you all to practice on the yodeling. OK. <laughs> hey, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I've yelled a lot during my life. I can call it yodeling if I want to. Just depends <laughs> who you ask, right? All musicians that's right. come on in. And I mean, I've got guys that's promised me from, from Sparta, Cookville, uh, Mac Mandel, Manchester, just everywhere that I play music. I played. Well, I've tried to play music all my life, and I've met a lot of friends, and I'm looking forward to making new friends. Yeah. Well, I've yeah. heard you play several times, uh, James, and that's right. And this is something that people are interested in doing, too. A lot of times it's not so much they want to be a part of it, but they don't really want to be. They yeah. just want to be a part of it, and then just mingle around and have different little groups well, some in the of these courthouse. Boys, and some of these boys that I play music <coughs> with, we go to the, we go up to the rest home and go to Murfreesboro, and them people just loves it. They just sit there and have the best time in the world. They'll sing along. And they'll tell us jokes, and we'll tell them jokes, <laughs> and just have the best time in the world, them people. They, well, just, they just love it. That's what it's all about. And that's what it's it? all about, is having fun, camaraderie, and, and everything. And, and this is on the 31st, right, James? 31st, and I just can't believe how everybody has donated just for, for me to get the advertisement out there and talk about it and this and that. From one end of town to the other and all around the square and everything, everybody I approached, nobody turned me down. Wow. Well, that's really nobody good. Nobody turned me down. That's and then, like I say, there's. Everybody's invited, Everybody, right? You everybody. don't have to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you if you think coming. you can play something, <laughs> or if come you want to learn, it on. well, it's going to be a fun day. You know, I've I've went and played back whenever I was trying to learn how to well, trying to get better at playing, 
I'd go to these things like this and there'd be a bunch of their plan and you just admire them guys that are so good. Well, you just get out here on this outer circle and try to play with them. Yeah. And then it ain't long till you will be wanting to come <laughs> get on in, in the there circle. with them. Huh? You know, come on in there, you know. Well, I've learned a new tune. Let's try that out. <laughs> yeah, I've learned a new tune. Let's try it and everything. And you have some singers and there's even a lot of little kids. I know one place that kind of does this, of course, Tom does too, Smithville at the at yep. Fiddler's Jamboree. Yeah. You know, they have the ones on stage, but then they have a whole group all around the courthouse that. Well, this just is something just that's just reason I'm just group keeping up it just and like play. this with no competition for the first time. Mm -hmm. Right. I didn't want to have no stage because I didn't know how where it would go over or what would be. But this is something that I've got in the back of my mind is right. adding to it, adding to it every year. Absolutely. And letting it grow and everybody have a good time. It sounds like something that songwriters could come to as well and yeah. get an opportunity to play their, their new stuff. Well, you can be sitting there jamming with somebody playing some good old breakdown tunes and Sally Gooden and some of them good old songs and stuff like that. And you'll have somebody walk up there and say, uh, give me a E or A or G and just start, boy, I mean, it just blows your mind how good they can sing, yeah. but they can't play. And boy, just join in there, <laughs> boy, I mean, just sang them. Wow. You know? In my case, it's yeah. neither of the above. Well, that's what's going to happen when you start well, You're the dancer then, Whenever right? you start buck dancing, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> They're going to say, I didn't know she could do that. Oh, well, I wouldn't either. So. <laughs> Well, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. That's the main thing. That's it is, main, and that main. is. And they, and you want an enjoyable day. You don't have to stay all day, but, you know, you can come stay as long as you want to. And, of course, if if you come as a group and some of the group wants to stay there, you've always got the stores that you can go visit. You've all, If you want to eat, you've got restaurants right around the square. Well, so. you know, I was really, really surprised when I went in all these stores and asked them for a little donation. How neat and nice that we've got around the square. It is. I mean, antiques, arts, and crafts. I mean, neat and clean and, and nice stuff. It and is. And everybody's so nice, welcome you in. And you ask them, what's this? Of course, they got stuff in there. What's this? They take out the time to tell you what tell it you is. Tell you what that is. Antiques and stuff <laughs> and everything. And a lot of people come but to see lot, that. But there's a lot going on this month here, here in town. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, we got there the, is. The walk through, whatever they call, what is it they call to call into this weekend? Oh, the spring fling. Spring I'm fling. not I wasn't oh, sure, okay. Jake, what yeah. were you talking about? Yeah. I thought, what did I miss? Spring fling's going to be having that, <laughs> and then they're having horse ride and a car pull in. <clears throat> well, now the horse ride starts uh, the end, the Memorial Day uh, will be the horse ride. But yes, this uh, we're going to have the spring fling, and then um, the FOP is going to try to have their car show. And of course, uh, they do have it. It is hollering rain, but hopefully, it will hold off. And uh, they will have a uh, rain date of the 31st, which was the date of your event. But we have found them another venue if they have to use their rain yeah. date. So right. uh, it'll all work up. I, you know, Mike has a hard time because everybody wants to use the square. Yeah. So keeping it in a controlled chaos where you know who's doing what when, and sometimes there'll be two different events on the square at the same day. It may be different times, but that that's uh, that's difficult to keep up with on occasion. Well, I, I'll tell you what, James, I think that this is something that, and of course, uh, when you come, uh, there's, no, uh, there's no sound equipment. It's all acoustic. Yeah. Um, instruments and everything no amplification of anything so if you you know if you pick and grin a little bit or maybe <laughs> maybe you just whittle i don't know yeah. <laughs> down there. <laughs> now if anybody has any questions and of course 615-542-8035 James Stembridge. And if you didn't get yeah. that, then you can call the chamber and yeah. I'll give you that. Wonderful. And Big. you know, just like, a, like I say, they just, Woodbury here is just really growing and doing real nice things. And it's just fun to come down here and watch when they have that trail ride, three or 400 people come through town riding horses. I mean, everybody hollering and everybody relaxed, having a good time. Uh, everybody except the horses. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just nice, a lot of nice things going on. I, I really, just, that's the reason I wanted to do this, is just to see how it go. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. It's something different. 
but it ain't gonna be no competition. It's gonna be laid back, so it'll have to go good. <laughs> How could that's it right. not? Yeah, there you go. You don't have to worry about winning. You just gotta yeah. show up. That's yeah. all. Just show up. And Bring James it. is gonna be there, and you all you do is just pick you a place. Well, our little old county's come a long ways. It has. It's come a and long I'm ways. hoping for it to grow a little more. And it takes a combination of our local people, but it also takes people from out of our county to make yeah. that happen because. Uh, and we want them to come in here. And we have a lot of people that are moving into our area yeah. that I don't think people really, really realize how many people are moving into our area. So that's good. And James, I look forward to this. I hope it goes well for you. And I hope we can have many more of these to come. Well, I thank you. Appreciate your time and everybody. And everybody's going to have fun. Okay. I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds if like you nobody are. Nobody shows up, just come and listen to me. I'm going to walk around the square. That's your crowd. I'll just, I'll just take my old banjo and just go walk around the square, start playing, going down the road feeling bad. Well, there you go. That's all it takes, you yeah. know. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. there'll be more than just you they there, James. I'm I mean, sure I, there I, will I, be. I just can't believe, I just can't believe the, the, what I have got out of it, everybody okay and proving everything and promising that oh, they'll be here. they're not going to be, and they're yeah. not going to be ugly to you, James. They, yeah. People like this. The people like things around this yeah. square. Yeah, yeah. And especially the, the people around the square especially like it if you don't bring in food people and vendors. Yeah. They really yeah. like that. Well, that's what I wanted to put in there. I wanted to do something just for the, you know, Okay. The well, and they're, I'm sure they're and proud to be a part that, of this. Oh, that's I good, am. but. I want it to start out kind of low to see how it goes. Yeah. You know. Well, we thank you, sir. I thank you. Thank y'all. And I look forward to see how this goes. And I hope the I'm weather holds out. I'm looking forward for the book dancing there. You practice up on that. I'll try. I think in I my put, spare time, I think I'll I put try. that in here somewhere. I, I hope you not because you <laughs> lied if you put that in <laughs> Well, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It will. Yeah. And there will be some people that can book dance. And if oh, they yeah. feel like doing that, then yeah. so be it. Get up, get up and have a good time. Okay, well, Brittany, we're finally getting to you because you have a lot of good things that are going to be going on at the Art Center. That is also another big plus for our community, Absolutely. always, is the Art Center. And, of course, Brittany, you have just started working here, but you are very talented. You also can direct. You also star in several of the plays. I think you were in The Secret Garden. I you was, not? yep, you just were the lead. Uh, back in March, yes. Right, and uh, beautiful voice. And she takes care of the front desk very efficiently, mm -hmm. I might add, at the Art Center. But uh, you're going to talk to us about the Summer Conservatory and some yeah. other things that are going on at the Art Center, right? Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on, especially coming into the summer. Um, I'll start off with, for children, we've got Summer Conservatory. We have one for Junior Conservatory or Senior Conservatory. Um, the junior session, that's for grades first through sixth grade, and that's going to start um, on June 2nd, and there's two different sessions. It's two weeks, so the kids will come in. They're here from 9 to 3 every day. Um, we'll work on singing, acting, dancing, stage movement, um, kind of learning how to build characters, putting together a nice production for the end of the two weeks um, when the parents can come in and see what the kids have been working on and give them a chance to really perform in front of an audience. Um, we'll be doing that, the two sessions for juniors, and then in July, starting on, what's that date? July 7th through the 18th is the Senior Conservatory, and that's for grades 7th through 12th grade. And again, it's a two-week camp. It's from 9 to 3. And for the seniors, we even get a little bit more into an intensive study on auditioning and um, learning, especially if they want to be performing here at the Art Center and other shows. We'll um, be offering something brand new this year where we're offering headshots for the actors, which is included in the price. So if they ever had an inkling to go audition for some TV they show in Nashville, yes, they'll have have a great headshot. We'll put together those portfolios for them so that they're ready to go when it's time for that big audition. Um, so that's something we've got coming up both of those months. And then if you've got children who maybe aren't into the performing aspect of it, we're also offering a clay camp. Um, and that's going to be taught by Jacob, Cas uh, I can't say the last name, Castle or Casale. Um, the dates of that are June 2nd through 6th. And then there's a second session, which is the 9th through the 13th. And they're going to be introduced to hand-building techniques, including pinch, coil, and modeling. 
and um, the cost of that I believe is $90 and that includes all the materials that they'll need they'll work with the kiln and and do everything so we've kind of got something for everything this summer um, if you've already made summer plans for the children we're also starting up a music program in the fall um, which I'll be teaching for grades third through seventh Oh, that's great. It'll be a music program. It'll meet once a week here at the Arts Center. We'll learn music theory, um, different singing techniques, breathing, um, learning how to just really stretch out the students' range, and then we'll put together a performance for the end of that in December. So there's there's a lot going on, especially for the, the younger groups right now. And then you have a senior uh, conservatory, too. Yep, right? that's the that one in a, July. Right. Yeah, it's starting um, on July 7th. And I, did, I wasn't aware of the one where they're working with clay. I might mm -hmm. not do that. It sounds like I can't a lot sing, of fun. but I might could do some pottery. I'm not sure. <laughs> and for all of those, if anybody has any questions or if they want to just know more, find out more about the costs, um, they can visit the Art Center website, um, which is artcenterofcc.com, or call us at 615-563-ARTS, and we can give information and get everybody signed up. Um, for the Senior Conservatory, if you sign up before June 1st, you can get a $25 discount as well. So oh, if that's something that your kids might be interested in, go ahead and get them signed up now and you can save a little bit extra money. You probably need to search to sign up your younger ones too, right? Yes, absolutely. Those Have they um, started on that? And you may have already said that and I missed it. Yeah, we've been already accepting applications. There's the there's no more gosh, I'm losing my train of thought. There's no more discount. Okay. for that right now but you can still sign up there's still some spaces available but don't wait they we want to we want to get everything in yes they, it will definitely do. fill they up they do fill up fast there's a lot of people that uh, send their kids there their kids enjoy it for one thing you know it's different it's yeah. something for them yeah. to do you know if they are talented uh, if they're not this, they'll learn a talent that's right <laughs> like, they I came may be like me they may make pottery by the time yes this is yes that too <laughs> Um, on the performance side of things, we've got a few more things going on. Um, on Saturday, May 17th, we have the Midnight Riders, which is an Allman Brothers tribute band. I've been reading up on them online. It sounds like they put on an amazing show if you like the Allman Brothers or that style of music. of music. So definitely um, come out for that again. That's on May 17th. And then we have a show called Southern Fried Funeral that begins on May 30th. And I was thinking about this. If you were to um, come out on the 31st for the Jammin' on the Square, you could come right through afterwards and come watch Southern Fried Funeral. It's a really fun comedy. Um, I'm going to be one of the actors in it. We've got oh, Donald okay. Fan is directing it and it's um, it's a hilarious family comedy. It ends in a huge food fight if I <laughs> don't want to give anything away, wow. but it's going to be a lot of fun <laughs> just working with the actors so far. It's, that makes it's me hilarious. Happy. Just yes, to don't miss this. it. <laughs> if you like the South and, and fried anything, come to Southern Fried Funeral. <laughs> And one more thing, actually, we still we have the reluctant. with that. <laughs> yes, exactly. We're um, we in the middle of a run of the reluctant dragon as well. We're doing school shows um, through the 15th. That's open to homeschool groups and different school groups. And then we also have some evening performances open to the public on May 9th and May 10th. So we've got a lot going on. There's definitely something for everything right now. And that's just up till June. Yes. <laughs> Yes. The Southern Pride Funeral uh, will play most of the month of June, right? Mm -hmm. That'll run through June 14th, and then coming up we have Shrek starting in July. So there's They're we're going to be very busy around here. Uh, there's been 3,000 children in the Art Center this week. <laughs> I'm exaggerating a little bit, but there have been several. It's busload after busload yes. because you're doing the uh, school performances for uh, the reluctant dragon, right? Mm -hmm. And I haven't seen anybody leaving mad. So oh, the kids have been loving love it. it. We've had two they shows do. already today, and there's one more going on right now as we speak. And the kids are coming out just laughing and smiling. They're so, I think so it's been well really behaved. Good. I mean, to handle that many children, busload after busload, it's amazing how well. And of course, Scarlett and all the staff at the art center are involved in that, and they just deal with these children. Of course, teachers and everything they just bring them in yeah. they go in they watch a play they come out they go to the bathroom and they leave <laughs> and I think it's it a great experience for kids if they haven't had a chance to ever see a play before so they're right. kind of learning what it's like and everyone's been very well behaved yeah. from what every I've seen. time they have one of these it's it always amazes me how well they deal with it mm -hmm. because we're talking about what first to fourth grade probably yeah Right in it's there. about the age groups that and we have about a little over 200 kids for each performance so we're definitely right. 
It's a lot. There is. <laughs> <laughs> and she's still smiling, too. No, we like that. Yes. That's the whole thing. And, you know, we're talking still about May, <laughs> but we're going to be going in to uh, uh, things in June. But we have so much in May, just like this weekend, and I don't know that this will even get on the on the get edited and put on before this weekend. But the 9th and the 10th, you have Spring Fling on the square. You have the FOP car show on the square. If that gets rained out, uh, their rain date is the 31st of May. And uh, we're hoping that will be in the parking lot at the Art Center. So that will be a good thing. And of course, that night is the uh, beginning of what's coming that on. Southern the Southern Pride Funeral. Yeah. Yep, that, that'll, that'll be, be the last... first performance. But the car show will be over before that, so it, it won't. It, they won't interfere with each other. Um, May 16th and 17th, uh, Good Old Days, which is also on the square, starts Friday at noon. They kick off, and it will go Friday and Saturday, and they put a l many, many events into that day and a half. Uh, we will have entertainment. They will have two stages, front and back of the square. Uh, they have pageants, baby shows, uh, senior is the senior pageant, and we're talking senior <laughs> pageant, Ooh. is on Friday because this is a fundraiser for the Senior Citizen Center and uh, they want everybody to come out. There's no charge to get in, uh, but they will have a lot of vendors and they will have all these events, all this entertainment. You're welcome to bring your chair, sit down, stay all day, go around, shop, do whatever. This is, uh, this is for them. And our senior center is a great asset to our community because they have a lot of people that are enrolled there and they do a lot of things for our senior citizen center so um, unfortunately we have to have fundraisers and this is one of them and uh, also let's see what else something else is going on We've got the cannonsburg event on the 13th oh yes that's the chamber and we're going to host rollerford county chambers after hours event we did this for the first time last year it showcases uh, our county, two people outside of our county, and it was amazing how many people came up to the chamber table and wasn't aware, they weren't aware of where Cannon County was oh. or Woodbury. And it just blew my mind. But you have to realize that there's a lot of people that move into Rutherford County on a daily basis. So if we can draw some of that crowd to the many events that we have in our county, or the many things that they can go and see. The art center is one of them. We'll be and there with a booth as well. Yes, they will. And uh, last year we had 14 tables set up, I believe. It was organized chaos because there was so many people there. And, but we really showcased Cannon County very well. Uh, you would have been proud. And when we do that again this week, this next week on the 13th, uh, all of the people that are there to showcase Cannon County will set up about 3.30. The event actually starts from five till seven. It's not a long event, but there were people already there last year at 4.30. And people from Woodbury are welcome to come to this. Uh, if you wanna come down and see how well and that's you're free represented. Admission. You know, I don't know, that's a chamber event for them, and I'm not sure if they charge for it or okay. not. We actually are hosting it for them. So um, I'm not real sure on that. I would have to find out, but it does, it wouldn't be that much, I'm sure, and there is food. Um, and I know we're giving away a lot of prizes up. from the Art Center. We'll have CDs and different ticket packages. So even if you have to pay a few dollars to get in, you could walk away that with is. things and that the, are worth a lot more The Moonlight Drive-In was probably one of the busiest tables mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. year because they gave away movie tickets. And that was another thing I wanted to mention. The Moonlight Drive-In is open Yay. for business. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, they are open at this time. So um, that's always a big draw for us. They have first run shows 
great food. <laughs> Their concession stand has great food. It really does. Um, May 24th, of course, we come back to cruising on the square, and this month we will be honoring the 50th anniversary of the Ford Mustang. That doesn't mean that the other cars and trucks and motorcycles can't show up. You can. We're just going to set aside a place and some special trivia and this type thing for the for the Ford Mustang. And of course, there will be an award for the most club participation with the Ford Mustangs. And so last month, we had a big crowd. Uh, I was really surprised. We had so many cruisers that came in. We just about filled up the square, and we're hoping for more uh, this next month. So just come on, and you can see every kind of a car. But if you're a Ford Mustang fan, then we've got, we're going to have plenty of those, I believe. Also, the Moortown Volunteer Tractor Pull and Fireworks Show will be on the 24th. It doesn't start till that evening, so you can come see the cars. <laughs> then go to the track. Make a day pool. of it. That That's sounds like right. fun. And then, of course, uh, that will also be the weekend for the Cannon County Walking Horse Association. They have their big trail ride. Uh, they, they leave the fairgrounds at noon on Saturday, and they ride up to Short Mountain to the campgrounds. And there they, you can camp, and they have horse shows and dancing, and uh, they have a full weekend of that so and trail riding because they own a lot of property up there so that's another event that you can come to and then of course on the 31st is jamming on the square that'll be the first one that we're going to give it a try and james has worked hard and he'll get all of his friends and if you want to pick and grin you're welcome to come to that we're into june and do you realize that that is halfway and almost christmas Oh. <laughs> How many shopping days is that? That's what that's I what have we no need idea. I didn't know that that's a six month. So we're halfway through to oh. that. Um, Gasway Homecoming will be on June 7th. That's a small community in Cannon County, but they think big. They have a parade and they have music and they have food and they have a good time. Like I say, a small community with big ideas right there. Uh, Saturday, June 7th. This is one of my favorite events, and I don't know why. I'm too old to go do this, but I just like it. And it's the Tennessee Wildlife Association uh, sponsors the fishing rodeo at mm. Stones River. And it's for kids up to, I think, 12 years old. Oh, darn. Uh, yes, see, there you are to go to, <laughs> that didn't you? Like fun. They stock Stones River that day with fish, so you're almost guaranteed a fish. And, um, it's co-sponsored by the American Legion Post 279 and also by the Moonlight Drive-In because they give away free passes to all of the kids that sign up. There will be hot dogs and you will be able to go down there with your parents and fish. Now, you're only allowed one pole and so don't, don't come down there and bring don't set up your, your line there. <laughs> set up a line <laughs> of fishing poles because you're allowed one pole. Now, after it's over, if the adults want to go down there and fish, there's no way that that would be fine. See but during left. this event, that's right, it, it's for the kids. And they get real excited when they catch a fish, I'll tell you that. And I just, I love that one. And it's on June 7th, uh, Saturday, June 7th, the June Bug Flea Market. Is, this is fairly new. We'll be at the Trading Post that's next door to the distillery on Highway 146. They have a great antique and craft shows up there. Uh, you can set up and sell whatever you've got for no charge whatsoever, and whatever you sell is yours. So uh, you can call Savannah Koenig at 464-7824 to reserve your spot. And if you didn't get that number, then you can call the chamber on any of these events, and I'll be glad to tell you who to get in touch with. And there was one thing I did leave out on the 10th of this month, that Saturday is also the Mule Show, and it's at the Pemberton Arena, and um, somehow you can fit that in there. It sounds like we got a busy you summer plan. That. We do, and I just want to encourage everybody to this year make it a staycation 
and just go to the events we have right here at home and in our surrounding areas. Uh, our state parks are great. They have lots of different things that you can do that is free. Smithville has lakes. You can go there. Cannon County has something every weekend, and we just want you to stay at home and enjoy what we've got. And we've enjoyed being here with you. And Brittany, this has been your first time, and I yes. hope you come back. Thank you You've for having me. Great job. It's been fun. With this. And we'll see you next month. <laughs>